Hey, what's up, everybody? I hope you're doing well and finding tons of time to practice. Today's lesson, we are going to be going over songs 38 through 47 in the Essential Elements 2 book. Take a look at song 38. The first quarter note is tied to the eighth note. In other words, it's like a dotted quarter note. It's one and a half beats, and if you're counting, it should sound like this. One and three, four. Let's do that again. One and three, four. All right, song 38. Here we go. One and two and three, four. <laughs> Let's do that again, song number 38. One and two and three, four. Song number 39, Watch the Dot. Now it's going to be the same rhythm, but it looks different. Here we go, song 39. One and two and three, four. Let's play 39 again. Basses, careful with that shift. We want to make sure we land perfectly in tune. Find that first note. 39. One, two, ready, go. Song number 40, D major sequence. What's a sequence? Oh, just a repeating musical motif. Here we go, song 40. One, two, ready, go. Set your bow back on the string for a down bow, and let's play it again. One, two, forty, go. Song 41, Dots on the Move. One, two, Ready, go. Let's play 41 again. One, two, ready, go. Next we have song 42. If you see there is a fermata on the end, that means you get to hold it really as long as you'd like. I'll probably hold it an extra couple beats. Here we go, song 42. Pick A line, pick B line, and then switch. One and two and ready, go. holding and off let's do that again song 42 one and two and three and four
Song 42 last time, pick A, pick B, I don't care. One and two and three and four. Keep holding, keep holding, turn your bow around. Keep holding and off. Song 43, A Capital Ship. Starts out forte and stays forte. Big full bows pull out a lot of sound on your instrument. One, two, and three, and four. <laughs> try that again make sure to get those slurs in the second to last measure here we go 43 one and two and ready go We're going to skip 44 and go on to 45, hooked on the dots. That's kind of a string player joke. Anytime you have a down, down, up with staccato on it, that's called hooked bowing. So take a look at 45. We have the staccato, so they do want separation between the notes, but they also want two downs in an up bow. Let's give it a try. Song 45. One and two and three, four. Let's try 45 one more time. Remember to give that dotted quarter note a good full three quarters of the bow. And the eighth note just needs a little bit of bow, but I do want separation in between those two notes. 45. Oh, one and two and three, four. <laughs> Song 46, theme from the New World Symphony. This Dvorak piece is incredible, and if you don't know the original, I highly suggest listening to it. It's haunting, it's beautiful, it's triumphant. It's about us. Get it? The New World. It's about America. All right, let's take a look at 46. We have the hooked bowing. I do want the separation with those staccato quarter notes and eighth notes, but those half notes have to be long, full, and smooth. Here we go, 46. Oh, one, two, ready, go. <laughs> Let's try 46 one more time. A one, two, ready, go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Last song of the day, number 47, Rondo. There's a lot of musical stuff going on here. Let's just do a quick diagnosis. The first notes you play start on beat four. So I'll say one and two and three, and you come in on beat four, down bow. Crescendo in measure two, going into measure three, which has two up bowed tied notes. We also have a first ending and a second ending. So the first time you play this song, go through the piece, play the first ending, repeat back to the beginning. The second time you play this piece, you skip over the first ending, play the second ending, and end on that final D, and we're going to hold it extra long because of the fermata. This song is tricky and will require some practice. Remember to use short bows on the eighth notes, and the first time we go through it, I will call out repeats the first ending and the second ending. Set your bow on that F sharp. I'll count one, two, three, and then we come in on four. One and two and three. Back to the beginning. Second ending. Hold this note. Keep holding. And off. A lot of tricky stuff. Let's do it again. Set your first note, and I'll give you three counts. One and two and three. Good job, everybody. You just made it through lesson number five. Remember, if you're finding these songs difficult, to take out a metronome, turn the tempo way down, and play them slowly. Also, don't forget to review previous video lessons. It really helps to work the basics. Good luck practicing, and we'll see you next time.